So you're thinking about moving to Alberta, but you have no idea where to move yet. Well, if you don't want to be directly inside of Calgary, watch this whole video as we go through your top four options just outside of the big city, with number four being the most affordable based on home prices. Now these will be the four closest towns on each side of Calgary, but there are other options further out that tend to get a bit smaller the further out you go. So give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about moving to Alberta, and let's get started. So first up on our list, let's discuss the city of Chestermere. Chestermere is the smallest city on our list today at a population of about 25,000 people right now. You're going to find Chestermere directly east of Calgary, about 10 minutes, just south of the Trans-Canada Highway. Now without question, the biggest attraction here in Chestermere is the lake. Chestermere Lake is the biggest lake that you'll find this close to Calgary, and the only one really within a couple hours that you can take your boat to for some water skiing. So if boating is a big attraction for you, then you might consider living in Chestermere, because for residents, the boat launch fee is only $25 for the whole season, but for non-residents, those who live outside of Chestermere, it's gonna be $35 per day on the weekdays and $65 per day on the weekends. The lake itself is about five kilometers long, which means there's a lot of lakeside property that backs directly onto the lake. And there are a lot of very high-end homes on this lake. For homes directly backing onto the lake, you'll likely spend anywhere from one to three million dollars, and they can really range in terms of age, styles, and sizes. So in addition to the boating options at the lake, residents also have a couple of beaches on the lake to enjoy with the family during those summer months, and of course, there's always lots of ice rings shoveled off in the winter months. What you'll find here in terms of age demographic here in Chestermere, it's fairly across the board. The biggest age group in Chestermere is between 40 to 60, with children being the next biggest segment of the population. So you'll have lots of families with young kids, but you also have a lot of retirees out here as well. Now within the city of Chestermere, you'll have all of your basic essentials, but for those bigger stores like Costco, Walmart, and big shopping malls, you're going to have to go to the big city for those things. Now in terms of real estate here, Chestermere is the most expensive of the four areas that we're talking about today with a benchmark price of $643,000. Now keep in mind that number will be somewhat skewed high due to the large amount of bigger detached homes we see here. Now we do have some duplexes, townhomes, and condos here in Chestermere, but about 75% of the market is detached homes. All right, well, moving clockwise from here around the city, now on the south end of Calgary, you're gonna find the town of Oak Tokes. And this will be about 20 minutes south of Calgary with a population of just over 30,000 people. So we're a little bit bigger than Chestermere here in terms of population, and Oak Tokes does have a lot to offer those moving in. For one, you're a quick drive from the Rocky Mountains from town, which also means that there are some very good mountain views from the homes here in Oak Tokes. Now there's no big lake here like Chestermere has, but the Sheep River does run right through the middle of town, and there are a lot of areas that you can go swimming, fishing, or tubing in the river, and so this makes for great summer activities for you and the family. As Oak Tokes has grown, they've added a lot of great amenities in town with all of your day-to-day -day stores like Walmart, Home Depot, and even a Costco inside of Oak Tokes. The only things that you'll probably find yourself going to Calgary for will be your night life and your large shopping malls. You'll find a lot of families in Oak Tokes and a lot of good schools and activities in town for kids and families. One potential downside to Oak Tokes, depending on the person, is that you're further away from Calgary than the other three areas. And with traffic, getting to downtown Calgary could take as long as an hour. Now, if you're moving from Toronto or Vancouver, you might laugh at an hour of traffic being long, but for us here, it really is. And as for real estate here in Okotoks, we have a benchmark price of $561,000, which makes it the second most expensive town on our list of four, but you'll be able to find a large variety of offerings at all different prices here in town. For condos, you're gonna be somewhere between 150 to 350,000. Townhomes will be anywhere from the low 200s up to about the mid 500s. The semi-detached or your duplexes will be anywhere from the low 400,000s up to around 700,000. And for those detached homes, which here in Oak Tokes account for about 70% of the market, you'll be anywhere from around 400,000 all the way up to about $1.5 million. 
So there's Oak Tokes in a nutshell. Now moving clockwise again over to the town of Cochrane on the west side of Calgary. Cochrane is definitely an intriguing town for many, but might not appeal to everyone. So right now Cochrane is sitting at a population of about 35,000 people, and that's up from 28,000 just five years ago. So Cochrane is currently expanding very fast with a lot of building happening in a bunch of different areas of town. Now visually Cochrane is super neat because it's kind of tucked in right around the Bow River at the base of a steep hill. So when you're inside of Cochrane it kind of feels like nothing else exists. Though that being said with all of its expansion the town is starting to expand out of that river valley that it started in. At the end of the day if you like being close to the mountains and all the activities that come along with that while also being reasonably close to the big city, then Cochrane might be the place for you. Now from edge to edge, you're about 20 minutes from Calgary, so about the same distance as Oak Tokes is from the big city, but with the limited access options down into Cochrane city center from Calgary, rush hour here can get very busy and slow going to and from home. As for the real estate here, we currently have a benchmark price of $502,000 here in Cochrane, which does make it more affordable than the other two previous towns. But you do have to factor in that there is a lower percentage of detached homes here as compared to Oak Tokes and Chestmere, which would skew those numbers a little bit. So for apartments here in Cochrane, you'll be anywhere from the mid 100s to around the $300,000 mark. For townhomes, you can be anywhere from the mid 200s all the way up to almost $700,000 thousand for the townhomes here for the really nice ones. For duplexes, you're going to be anywhere from the 300s up into the 700s. And for those detached homes, you can be anywhere from the 400s all the way up to about $1.2 million or so. And though we do see a lot of families here, it is worth noting that Cochrane does have the highest average age of the four communities that we're discussing in this video. All right, now moving clockwise again. Now on the north end of Calgary, you're gonna find the city of Airdrie. Now Airdrie is the biggest of these four by over double with a population of about 80,000 people right now. And in addition to that, Airdrie is also the closest to Calgary being edge to edge less than 10 minutes and also the cheapest for housing, which we're gonna get into a little bit later. Now Airdrie, just like Oak Tokes and Cochrane has been expanding a lot in the recent years with new construction all over the city and what comes with more population is more amenities as well. Here in Airdrie you're gonna find everything you need on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't even need to go to the big city for your large shopping mall as we have cross iron mills just outside of Airdrie. Location wise Airdrie is also very nice for some people being right on the number two highway which gives you great access south to Calgary or north to Edmonton. And of these four areas, Airdrie's also the closest to the Calgary airport, which is a perk if you do a lot of flying. Now I won't get into a ton of specifics on Airdrie in this video as we have a lot of other videos featuring Airdrie, such as the pros and cons, cost of living, and many more on our channel. So be sure to check those out after this video. But as far as real estate here, as I mentioned before, Airdrie is the cheapest for housing of these four towns with a benchmark price of $497,000. So it's the only one that's below $500,000 right now for a benchmark price. So for those condos in town right now, you can be anywhere from the low 100s all the way up to the high 300s for the nicer condos in town. For townhouses, you can range anywhere from the high 100s to the mid 500,000 range. For duplexes, you'll find yourself anywhere from the 300,000s up to about the mid 500,000s. And for your detached homes, you're gonna find them anywhere from all the way down in the 200s, all the way up to about one and a half million dollars. Well, I hope this video helped you decide where you might wanna live around Calgary. As an Alberta realtor, I'd be more than happy to help you find your home in any of these areas. So if you're planning to make a move out to Alberta here, reach out anytime and let's make a plan. Again, my name is Brad Walker with Real Broker, and we'll see you in the next video.